Oh, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews. Right, um, this is the fifth and final um, beer I got from Aldi in their little mini, the Great British Brewing Company, whatever that is. It's about three or four different breweries. Um, anyway, this is the final one. It's their Red Rye IPA. It's coming in at 4.7% ABV. And it's by Twickenham Ales. Fine, Twickenham Fine Ales are out of London. Um, so yeah, it says a full-bodied mouthfeel with hints of passion fruit, peaches, and notes of pine and citrus fruit. So it's in a 330ml bottle. Best before again March 2017. Another one of them caps. Right, let's crack this open. Then. One pound nine p each one of these brews from Audi. So brewed by Twickenham Fine Ales. For Aldi. I'll leave that there for a minute. A very dark coppery colour. Half a finger, or not even that, just covering the top of the beer, a white head. Quite a lot of carbonation there. Very clear. See through the, the light through the glass. Sort of a mahogany kind of copper type colour. It's getting aroma. There is hints of uh, citriness in this beer. Very light but it's definitely there. Nice kind of malt build. Not picking up peaches. Or pine, really, but definitely citrus. Not smelling particularly sweet either. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. I actually really needed a beer today. Definitely, there's some hints of pine there, for sure. That kind of dry... It's not dry hot, but it's that kind of... It's actually coming through quite well. I'm surprised. The citrus is definitely coming through. Not picking up much on the peaches at the moment, but... After one or two more mouthfuls, these flavours to me they seem to come out a little bit more with each mouthful. So um, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's a full-bodied uh, beer. Um, it's, it's certainly a medium, lower end of medium-bodied for me. Um, but that's because of what I've been drinking. To somebody else who's buying this for the first time, then yeah, that would probably hit you a little bit more than it would me. Um, Definitely, as I said, carbonation in this beer. I can feel it. It's that kind of lagery, kind of belchy, kind of feel uncomfortable in the stomach. Um, so yeah, it's, it's actually surprised me. Actually, this is this is not bad at all. It's actually quite well. It's actually nice, you know, not quite nice. Um, red in colour, this rye. IPA has aromas of pine and citrus fruits. There's a full-bodied mouthfeel with hints of passion fruit peaches, leading way to a dry, tinged with spiciness. Definitely spice, spicy edge to the beer, um, which is obviously the rye. Let's see if it's, it's probably not going to be bottle conditioned, but can bubbles. Back to a well, a bit more of a head now, almost a finger ahead, just off white. A very clear beer, so it's obviously, I assume it's filtered. There's no particulates in there or anything like that. Nice dry finish, as it says. Spiciness, hints of pine. 
the mango is coming through now more than at the beginning of the review when I first tried it. Um, not really picking up much on the peaches, to be honest with you. Um, but that's it's leaving a nice, not unpleasant mouth feel. You still got still getting on my taste buds that kind of pine element to the beer. Not bad. It's probably the best one out of their range. I think this one and the I can't remember what it was now. I think the coffee porter. I think they're the two beers to go for if you see them. For one pound nine p, you know, they're, they're decent. Not well class or nothing, but you know, if you're on a budget for sure, that's the one if you like, and a bit of an IPA spice edge to it. And if you like a coffee porter type beer, then you know, that's pretty damn good for for two pound eighteen p, a couple of half decent bottles of beer. The other three I, I didn't much care for, but. Try them for yourself if you if you can get them in your Aldis, then uh, go for it. See what you can see what you can get. Um, I know it varies so much from different areas of the country. So, anyway, as for a rating, it's not bad. I'm gonna give that a seven out of ten. That's a, a B plus beer. Um, not quite into the A. Um, sort of level but for, for one pound nine P as well I think you're getting more of your money's worth with this beer um, and the coffee porter than you would with the other um, they're okay but I'll go for this anyway so you've had this before let us know um, be interesting to see where you can get this in the UK you know whereabouts um, obviously being a Twickenham Twickenham Fine Ales, so it's just in that middle part there. Decent. Just watching. See you in the next review.